Mm. Hey, good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Hint Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Um, I've been kind of um, missing a little bit again, you guys, because uh, I tell y'all I'm dealing with this narcissistic craziness. Um, also added a touch with dementia and Alzheimer's and with my aging mother. And it is becoming such a nightmare that um, I told my brothers last night, I said, now either you guys are going to come over here and you're going to help um, deal with your mother, which I must admit, a lot of people don't have uh, sons that come out and take them out once or twice, at least twice a week. So I do give them credit for that, taking her different um, places. But as y'all know, pouring stuff into a narcissist is like pouring water into a bucket with holes in it. And then you add the Alzheimer's onto that, you got a recipe for disaster. So of course she doesn't remember anything that happens. And her latest shenanigans is she calls the ambulance and just goes to the hospital. They keep sending her back and she keeps going and then when you ask her why or you tell her that her scores were normal and you know why is she continuing to go because you're being dangerous now you're going out at two and three or four o'clock in the morning and you're leaving doors open and you know it's really like that type of problem so of course you all know the narcissistic injury the minute you try to have that kind of conversation she begins to um, just going to a frantic rage and so the rage has gotten to the point where she has smeared and um, just degraded myself my niece and my daughter to the point where um, every, she's gotten people thinking of course they're the victims so she's got everybody over here thinking that you know she's not being treated correctly so since we know we are and she goes to all of her appointments she that she doesn't miss a doctor's appointment the, she doesn't miss a um a, a therapist or a counselor care um, what do you call it a social worker appointment so you know that she's being um attended to in terms of her plan of care but because i'm dealing with a bunch of emotional ignorant people um, and y'all know how it gets when you're dealing with, if you don't know, and so I'm going to tell you my specific situation. I'm dealing now with people who haven't even stopped by um, my mother to even visit her in 10 years. Somehow, people like to, uh, you know, bond by their trauma. So, because... Um, this is my cousin because my mother's sister is passed away one of my cousins actually is even been accused of killing her mother um, basically because she wouldn't pay the mother's mortgage um, and so she her daughter could have a wedding so now with that being said this is now this is my cousin that's coming to the realization that she needs to call and check on what we're doing over here and she's going to send somebody we welcome her <laughs> to send somebody over um, because you haven't come over here and even visited your aunt and now I'm supposed to believe and suspect that you were so concerned about her because she lost weight most seniors lose weight because they don't eat as much as they did but you don't know that because you're not even over here and you haven't seen her enough um, things of that nature begins to be kind of trying because it's like you're dealing with a bunch of ignorance on top of the stress that you're being dealt with from the person himself. So what happens now is every time my mother gets into um, any kind of mode where she's denying that she's going blind with her glaucoma and her uh, degenerative eye disease, she gets on the phone and calls the people that she can, the flying monkeys that she can spit these lies and venom to about us that she's smeared and then they get the impression that she's being mistreated and all this stuff and, and then she sits back and she gets her fix for the day well like I told the um, 
relatives and my, my siblings last night is she's about to go to the nursing home or we're going to have to sign a three-party petition because we're not going to put up with this every single day. Her attacks on us, um, her lies, and we're trying to make concessions because we know that she has these uh, issues. But now it's getting to the point where she's stressing us out unmercifully. And she's doing it on purpose. And then there's too much stuff involved. So none of these people want to take her to their home or um, even come and visit her on a daily basis. But now they're out and sitting in the seat of judgment and just trying to make our lives uh, more miserable. So that's the update. Because uh, some of y'all asked me about my mother who has Alzheimer's. She's still raising hell. In fact, she's raising it worse now than she ever has. And so that's why I came to the conclusion of people that have personality disorders, you know, it doesn't get better with age. It gets worse because they lose their sense of control. And because they lose their sense of control and they're not in control anymore, the people that are around them become their target for any kind of smear campaign, any kind of sabotage or, or disrespect or abuse, uh, they become the target because you're not able to handle your thoughts, your mind, what is going on with you accepting your uh, degenerative eye issues, all those things that a person has to deal with, Some she's just not ready. And so with that being said, it makes her miserable and it makes her attack everybody around. So I'm bringing this out to y'all because I want y'all, last time y'all gave me some real good advice when we were talking about my mom uh, and we were talking about, um, you know, does she need to go to the nursing home? And that, that day she had me at my wit's end. I'm doing a lot better since then uh, because I'm trying to take better care of myself. Uh, but there's a lot more to this story that is so insane. Uh, like I said, re uh, regarding how our relationship is, it's at the point where I really don't want to touch her. I really don't want to, uh, just other than to make sure, if if necessary, she has her eye drop. Because she's already accused me of trying to kill her. Um, you know, it's, and, and, uh, and I really don't want to do it. Because she's been smearing me for so long. Um, so this is kind of like where we are in in our my relationship with my mother who's 84 years old who's suffering from Alzheimer's dementia she's a narcissistic personality disorder individual my father is no help yes he is alive but remember my father stopped talking to me at 30 when I was 30 years old because he was mad because I was having a baby I was having a child and he couldn't accept that as a fully grown individual that he decided not to talk to me again so this is the kind of insanity that I've always had to experience with both of my parents but now that they're aging um, and he's a hoarder my mother um, is not hoarding but she's trying to hoard, hoard her, uh, her emotions and the people and it keeps stuck in her hamster wheel and she's mad because we're pretty much on to her and we're pretty much gray rock and she can't take it um, and so that causes her injury to be even deeper where she just calls out of town to relatives and spread rumors and um, things of that nature so I still want y'all prayers out here and I still want y'all opinion about what's the next step what y'all think should um, you know have you had an experience like this with an aging cystic uh, parent or if you know somebody tell me how they how they keep themselves sane uh, and I really look forward to hearing your comments please 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 video please share the video um and let's get this discussion going thank you